Hello, Mr. Alamo. I hope you're doing well. This is my engineering project. We did the umbrella, and it's by me and Leo. So this is the visual analysis. The umbrella has many lines, and most of those lines are curved, as well as the handle. The handle is curved as well. It has a hook shape. The shaft and stretcher have vertical lines. Color. The handle and shaft are brown or maybe even orange. The canopy is black as well and the stretcher is black as well. It has a dark value and the shape and form is geometric. Uh, the canopy is octagonal and it's divided into triangles. Principles of design. Uh, the canopy has a sm symmetrical balance. There's a radial balance on the canopy from the top view. Uh, the black of the umbrella contrasts with the, the brown handle and the brown shaft. Uh, proportion. Each triangle in the canopy is proportional to the next. Uh, unity. Consistent use of shapes such as triangles and it also has a smooth texture. Uh, economy. It's, it's a very simple design. Functional analysis of the handle. It's made for the user to hold a place. To have a place to hold the umbrella. Uh, it's designed in a hook shape so the user can uh, hang it anywhere they want. The shaft, it holds the handle and top of the umbrella in place. It allows the runner to go up and down to help the umbrella function. The runner, this moves up and down the umbrella to open the umbrella or close it. It also has a hole to keep the umbrella in lock. The stretcher is connected to the canopy. It also works with the runner. So as the runner moves up the shaft, the stretcher expands and the umbrella opens. And um, also when the, the runner goes and it moves down the shaft, then the stretcher closes and the umbrella closes. It has wings to strongly support the canopy. Okay, so the canopy, it's, it's, the, main fun it's the main part of the umbrella. It's used to protect the user from the rain or sunlight. The arms are stretched out to open the umbrella to function. This right here is a multi-view of the handle and the shaft. Multi-view of the canopy and runner. And multi-view of the stretcher. Uh, some of the key concepts in this project are from Unit 1, the, de the design process. We brainstorm to pick the object and as well as we, um, we brainstorm how to improve it. Unit 2, technical drawing and sketching. We did the isometric and multi-view drawing for each part. Unit 3, measurement and statistics. Uh, precise measurements of each part to make sure that it was proportional when we drew it. Unit 4, modeling skills. We use Onshape to make the improved product and a more accurate, accurate representation of it. Unit 6, Reverse Engineering, we modified the product to improve it and to help minimize flaws of the original product. We also disassembled the product and drawing for each part. The Improved Umbrella Concept, uh, we altered the shape of the umbrella. So as you can see, there's more of a decline in the front. Uh, it's longer in the back and shorter in the front and this is to help protect against the wind so the umbrella doesn't flip over. Also to make it um, more durable, we made it out of polyester, so the umbrella is stronger and less water stays on the canopy. Uh, another feature we added is detachable parts, so this is more convenient for the user, and it also takes up less space. Uh, this is just the mass of the parts. Abstract, the umbrella is a simple and useful tool for when the we weather is not ideal. However, there are many minor flaws that can limit its effectiveness. At times, it can take up too, too much space, break down, or heavy winds can flip it over. Through the process of reverse engineering, we were able to disassemble the umbrella and redesign the original umbrella to account for these flaws. We made the umbrella more durable by using polyester and altered the shape of the umbrella in order to sustain against heavy winds. We also made the umbrella parts detachable so that it is more convenient for the user and does not take up as much space. 